Okay, guys, welcome back to uh, Drummard Farm here on the console in the PC versus the console race challenge thing. Um, first of all, got to apologize, guys, for my lack of episodes and a few live streams instead. I've had big problems getting Mixer to save my videos on demand. But now I have worked out how to use Twitch. So hopefully, again, I'll say hopefully, this works out better. Um, you can all let me know what you think in the comments, if it's any better or worse. Just go ahead and uh, leave a comment down there. For anybody new that's watching, welcome along. And all those people returning to the challenge here, welcome back. Again guys, don't forget to hit that wee subscribe button and the bell notification for all the videos for the challenge. I will put a link into the description there for RD Allen's channel. You can go along and show him a bit of support as well on the PC side of this uh, competition. Yeah, he's going to need the support because he's going to lose this competition. So, um, from the previous live stream, then I've just went ahead and forwarded through the night. And while I was doing that, I knew this field was going to be ready, so I just went ahead and moved some equipment here to start the harvest. Okay, okay, let's just start the harvester up. I'll put you on a hard worker. As well as that, I have just set this guy to plowing field 25 here, which was our new purchase. Well, one of our new purchases, that's in field number 2 from the last live stream. So we'll go ahead and look at this all um, plowed up. We have done quite a bit of work here with the cows. We've put a quite a bit of TMR or the cow power power food into storage so hopefully that'll help us what way are we actually looking from the night there yeah we just need to give them a bit of a clean up yeah and that's okay we'll get that done Um. yeah we'll just go ahead and do that now actually by the way guys Okay, guys, hopefully this works out better than Mixer. We'll see, though. Um, definitely give me some feedback on it, if you would. i just dump the grass back in here, and we'll get up to the sheep and give them a good clean out, too. Again, for those that didn't watch the live streams, we've went ahead now, we have uh, 50 cattle. And we're up to just under 60 sheep. Through breeding. We haven't actually bought any sheep. The cornfields there are ready again for chaffing. They refill the silo, uh, the bunker silo there when we um, empty it. Prices drop quite a bit. So, we may have to wait a slight time for that. Again, anybody that watched the fast video there will see um, somehow, <laughs> and I don't exactly know how, that the price for chaff was going up, or the price for silage was going up as I was selling. Um, I don't know how that happened. I don't know why that happened. Um, but me being stupid me didn't exactly keep on going while it was getting a good price I stopped for some strange reason I don't even need all this anyway nope we'll like for water ah they're alright at the moment that's pretty good Just take us back down to the K area. So, yeah, guys, what do you think of the competition so far? It's been fairly good. Um, 
I know I had a slow start waiting on my uh, bunker there to ferment so I could start selling silo compared to Artie Allen's fermentation silo that he's been using. It didn't really worry me a lot that he was using it because I knew I had all that money sitting there ready to go. But, you know, things have been going pretty sweet from I've done it. A lot of new equipment, some new fields. I think we're getting along pretty well here. We'll have to start into some forestry pretty soon, though. He's going well. And... Just get this boy ready to... Ooh. Take him over to field 2 then, and we'll put a... an application of fertilizer down on field 2. And I can't remember how to get out of this field. Uh, I think it's up this way. Yeah. Let's go up by the road. <laughs> yeah, so we're both progressing pretty well in this competition, both myself and Artie Allen. Again, both of us think we're in the lead. Um, where he thinks I know I'm in the lead. <laughs> But we shall see. Um, it's a long process yet to go. You know, both of us have made a stab at sheep and cows. None of us have actually started on pigs yet. And he has already done a bit of logging. So I definitely have to get some of that done very shortly. Just to keep up on that front. And we have a, a few more fields to buy as well. We may be a few fields behind what he's bought, but again, we have um, been more productive when it comes to our animals. We have more. So, we'll keep on going there. Uh, let's get this over and get this application of fertilizer down on this field. Say we have the classy there ready with our new seed drill to go ahead and that branch is coming down. Um, we've got the classy here with our seed drill to go ahead and um, get this field replanted. So what does our map look like? Let's have a peek. As you can see, there's a lot growing, a lot still, you know, to go. Fertilization stages. Nine needs another one, as does 13. So, once our wee massy here is finished, we'll get back onto that again. Actually, I tell you what, we don't need to. What I can do is find you. And we'll go and get the slurry tank and we can put a fertilization stage down with that. Ooh. Controls are rather touchy today. Again, it's an interesting um, competition to see that both of us are going more or less the same directions but um, Artie Allen himself there is using quite a few different mods available to him um, from the PC side of things which you know are different than what I have very much so different but you know I think that the mods that we're getting here on the console are good enough to keep up. But definitely, I mean, this this we uh, Finn favorite is, I would say, could become one of my favorite tractors very quickly. It's a mod come out a couple of months ago. The high spec trailer, mm, I'm undecided on it. The working speed for me is a wee bit slow. 
Maybe? We'll see ya. Again, we have already sold quite a few pallets of wool. Where well, I don't think RDL has had one yet. Oh, crash. I sneezed. Um, I don't think Artie Allen's had wool to sell yet. I may be wrong on that, of course. Um, but I haven't seen him do it. And we'll put that out there and just get an even spread on that. So that should be that field now getting another level of fertilization. You just zoom into that one and you can see what I mean. Just here. Yeah, there you go. And what are we going to do now? Well, I was thinking we may take this guy and try and get some more TMR in storage because when we build up our cattle, we are going to need a lot of TMR. And again, with the way um, oops, with the way Giants have done it this year, you don't just fill up your TMR; you're auto also filling up. You know, um, put it up here on screen so you can see it. When it comes to the cows, when you're putting the par food in, it also fills up the silage hay section. Um, so it kind of splits it, which makes it harder to fill the, the par food, if you understand what I mean. Um, I don't particularly like that function this year, but unfortunately we have to live with it. And we'll just see. I've worked out the bucket loads in this as well. So it's 8,000 and then the hay versus 4,000 of straw and then a bale of um, one of the silage bales there fills that we yeah. mix some wagon up. Nearly crashed. Of course, our head judge Derf Jeffrey doesn't particularly like the way I do this because he thinks it's creating a mess. Ah, I wouldn't say it's creating too much of a mess. They're neat piles. Oh, are we spilling that over? We did we spilled some over? Duh. bring this forward a bit and lift that up it's amazing that the smallest wee bit of grass or hay makes the biggest mound isn't it oh where am I going This here wee silo here is fantastic for this. Again, this is a mod that was brought out just about, I would say, three, three weeks ago, perhaps. Too much. Um, it's definitely changed the gameplay in the console anyway. This is more or less just continuing off where we left from the live stream doing this. Another great wee mod is this Myrtle. I mean, it's been fantastic compared to the you know the in-game ones. It tows, it, it tows the mixing wagon, it tows the, the loading wagon. It's been a super wee mod. 
can't remember the name of the uh, the modder, but thank you very much for this one. Let's jump out and let's go and store this. We'll go and see how the other boys are getting on. Oh. This one is my fault. I created the, um, the field, but I put the boundaries way too close to the edge. Um, generally, I just run up and down this with the solid sprayer, but as I say, because it's working on another field at the minute, next best thing. And we need to empty the harvester. Where's my truck? There it is. Again, loving this mod. It is fantastic. Um, the reason I chose this over Black Sheep's modding um, hook lift, it's just it fits more in with the map. Um, the drop, uh, the cab over engine. The Black Sheep one is more of an American style mod with the, the bullnose and stuff on it, which you don't really see around too much around Ireland. But yeah, this is generally what you would see running around. I mean, it's a bit of an older model compared to what you would normally see, but. Yeah, it, it's functional. Very functional. So again guys, I know that there's maybe one or two of you that are um, joining in with the fun at home. Don't forget to let my s let us know how you're getting on, either myself or Randy, by the comments down below. Um, it's always interesting to see how other people are doing. Did I not move him already? Oh, he's finished. Oh, right. Um, for those of you that's wondering where the big butt is, I have a confession on that one. I only leased it. Um, reason for leasing is just to say that I had a big bud before Randy. Um, pretty childish, but you know, I had a big bud first. Let's look at this boy over to field 13 and we'll get the final application of fertilizer down on that field as well. And we get out here. So, I mean, the competition's starting to heat up now. Um, you know, we're starting to fulfill some of the goals, even slightly. The purchase of the animals and the fields, etc., etc. Um, Generally what I intend to do with this field here is to sell some of it and keep the rest of it because I'm going to start needing to stockpile some crops for what happened there? Stockpile some crops for um, the piggies. Oink oinks. We've got the harvester going, we've got a ply going, and we'll have him going. That's our three employees, so we'll have to wait for you, I'm afraid. Let's see how this other guy's getting on here. Again, stopped. Oops. Again, guys, totally my fault here. Should have really got this field done before it grew so we could see it. That's why I'm putting the the hard work on it. Let's go and have a look at nine, see how badly it was. It was. Ah, we missed a big spot, look. That's okay, we'll come back and get that. And back to the Mimus. 
where to put the tractor there is there Get our bill. We've only uh, what was there? Five more bills? Four more bills? One, two, four more bills there before we have to start using from the silage pit. That's okay. We've plenty of silage left in there still. the JCB get our straw We have a little more straw there in uh too much Thomas. A little more a little more straw there still in the <coughs> excuse me. We have a little more straw there still in the um silos too. And we have went ahead and planted a load of straw down or a load of uh, wheat down there on field twenty four I believe it was. I want to say field twenty four anyway. Um so we can get some extra over here so we don't have to travel half the map for it. We also have to go up and take the loading wagon up there and pick up all the grass that's on the, um, the big grass field as well. Plenty of hay in storage. Yeah, so we're doing quite well here. I mean, we've enough to feed the cows for a while anyway. I'm sure we would have gotten here in a second. Should be a full load in that. I just need to attach the loading wagon to show you what we have. Take a while to that empty. Start you again. Yeah, note to self. Uh, try to get the fertilization done before it grows. Hopefully, we're not too far off with that one. And we are. Oops. And let's see what we show you what we have in storage here if this is finished emptying. It has. So we'll just drop that. And we'll fly around here. Again, the TMR doesn't come up on the main menu, so it's impossible to, to show you. So we're still a hundred and nearly 121,000 liters of hay. Uh, the mixed ration is quite full. I'm not sure the number on that since it's dot dot dot, but it's I think it's about 10,000. Um, straw was still 216,000. So I mean, we are doing quite well. Grass is 82, 8,000. Oh, that's not. 82,000 in one liter. Oops. Ach, we've got plenty of grass to pick up anyway. So I'll do this for the cows in a minute. Let's get you back on track. Again guys, this is my own fault this time because 
I didn't do enough of the headland here. So the, we, yeah, he's finished. So we can start him. Let him go ahead. Again, it's hard to um, know where the, the fertilizer in. the fertilizer goes with the plant with it that far ahead. But there we go. Do we need to fix the end of this field? We do. Do that now. And that is field 25 then, f ready for planting. Again, I'm not going to set the planter on go here because I want to get the... Uh, the Massey down here and fertilize it, f or put a layer of fertilization down before we start that. Just so we can be fully fertilized. And the other end. Again, guys, this is not going to be as long as normal because I say I've just worked out how to use Twitch on this. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to go and get ready for work pretty shortly. But, you know, at least we've got something to come out tonight. I think, which is more than I thought I was going to have. So that's good. And we need to take him up with the field too now, don't we? So hopefully with the new fields, everything shouldn't need planted at the same time. Say so shouldn't need planted at the or shouldn't need ploughed at the same time. So hopefully it staggered them a bit, so we, you know. We don't have to get a couple of plies on the go. Oh, crashed. Come on, are we, dear John? You're better than that. Take this night. How do I get this in? There we are. <coughs> so just drop him over to field 2 now. Again guys, I will put in a link to Randy's channel in the description down below. As well as um, a wee eye card there up in the corner where you can see his latest episode and stuff as well as soon as I can and um, definitely go over and give his channel um, a look and um, I know most of you probably already view him anyway but any of you that don't definitely go ahead and give it a wee shout out there and um, I will get round to doing some comments in our next episode just with not being able to record I forgot all about them. Um, but the comments are pretty positive. Um, I will ask though, guys. Um, and this this is something that I seen yesterday um, on, on Randy's comments. The banter that we have on here um, is banter, guys. I mean, I trash PCs, Randy trashes consoles. It's the way it happens. Um, it's part of the competition and part of the banter. Please keep it as such, guys. It's um, Randy got a pretty nasty comment there the last time, uh, last night that I seen, and you know I, I have replied to it to basically tell the guy to wise up. But please, you know, guys, keep it in the spirit that it's meant. Don't be, you know, taking it too seriously, because at the end of the day, you know, it's it's a challenge. PC has a lot more going for it in this game than, than I do. And that that's a given. What I'm trying to prove here is that you can still have as much fun on a console as the boys do on PC even though we don't have their mods. So guys remember that one. You know, keep keep the comments. You know, if you have a complaint, 
definitely put your complaint in. You're not doing this now, you know, could you not do this, or you've done this wrong, you've done that wrong. That's fair enough. But, you know, guys, no personal attacks. That's great. Um, sorry for the rant, but it had to be said. And, oh, again? Why? Um, apart from that, guys, I mean, most of the comments are very positive. Uh, and I think Randy will tell you that himself. We do get a lot, a lot of positive comments out of these. Um, so as I say, guys, next time when I have a bit more time, we'll go through the comments. Um, we'll let you know what people are saying. And, um, well, uh, until next time, guys, have fun. And I um, hope you've enjoyed tonight's episodes. From me, Thomas, uh, or my console. See you later, guys. And have a good one. Bye-bye.